Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot. And today we're gonna talk about this new product by Radial Master called the Radial Master Pocket. Please note that there are two videos on this radio. This video you're watching right now is the product review. I'm gonna tell you all about the radio. And the second video, you can go check it out now if you want, is all about how to set up a drone in this radio, then bind that drone, then set it up in Betaflight Configurator and you're on your way. This is an ELRS radio, at least the one I have. It does come in CC2500 as well, but most people are gonna buy the ELRS version. And in that video, I'll show you how to set everything up and bind to a nice little ELRS drone and go fly. But if you're still watching this video, let me tell you about the radio really quick. This is a 16 channel radio. You've got Hall Effect gimbals up here, so super high quality. It's got a really cool antenna on top that you can make directional if you wish and fold it down. You can also put a crossfire on the back. It comes in really cool colors or you can get it in a multiple of other colors. Here's a blue one. I'm going to stick this case on later. It runs on two 18650 batteries that are not included, but uh, you just plug them in and this radio will actually charge those batteries up for you. But the really cool thing about this radio is that it glows. Not only that, I really like it. So uh, let me tell you more about it. Watch this. This is the box your pocket comes in. Opening the box, you'll find the pocket and accessories. A nice touch is that the pocket comes in its very own carry pouch. Joysticks can be stored on the rear to reduce the height. Other items in the box include a screen protector, a USB-C charge and data cable, a quick start guide that does include the radio specifications, so if you wish to view them longer, just pause your screen. And the last item would be Radio Master stickers. And now let's take a quick look at the layout of the pocket. First, there is a very bright 128 by 64 display, followed by the joystick gimbals, which are Hall Effect, Next, there is a lanyard holder. Below that are the two trim controls and the power button. On the left-hand side are all your menu buttons. The speaker can be found at the bottom center. The model selection button and scroll wheel are on the bottom right. Looking at the top of the remote, we'll find all the major buttons. First off, we have the momentary button. Then there are two latch buttons, followed by two three-way switch buttons. Then you have a common trainer port. Then there is the USB-C data and flight sim port. And finally, there's a really nice potentiometer pot. The antenna is foldable and movable into many positions. On the bottom of the pocket would be the headphone jack, the USB-C charge port, and the micro SD card slot. By removing the back cover, you have access to the nano module bay. Also, you can see the location for the joystick storage. And if you remove the two grip covers, you can see the two 18650 batteries. Please note that batteries are not included, but you can buy these batteries from Radio Master or a flashlight store or Amazon. Also, you can change the case of the Radio Master pocket to a different transparent color. Here's a blue one. To install a different colored case, it's simply a matter of removing the screws out of the back of the pocket taking out the internals and sticking them in the new case. Now we'll say the Radio Master Pocket feels really good in the hands and the total weight is shown here, 386 grams. Okay, so you're back to me and you're probably wondering, can I use this really cool radio with flight sims? Yes, you can, check this out. First thing to do is power on your pocket, then take a USB-C cable that's plugged into your computer, plug the other end into the top of the pocket. The pocket will ask you if you want to use it as an external joystick, just press the scroll wheel to say yes. Now, depending on the flight sim you're using, you may have to calibrate the joysticks. This is because your computer does not know what type of controller you're using and it doesn't know the endpoints of the joysticks on your pocket. So as you move the joysticks, you're calibrating it and then it knows and then you can go fly. So as I mentioned, on the rear you can put a module. So since mine's ELRS, the only thing I would stick on the back would be Crossfire. So I would have a Crossfire module and it would just slap on the back like that. And then you have a Crossfire module for going to fly and I have ELRS and Crossfire. If I had the CC2500 version of this, then I'd probably put ELRS on the back or even Crossfire. Now, one of the great things I love about this radio, and I think it's gonna become one of my favorite radios, and you'll probably see me flying a lot of drones in the future that are ELRS using this radio, is that it feels so good in the hands it doesn't weigh very much here here's the weight you can see it's not a heavy radio it's just the perfect weight the switch layout they give you everything and it's perfectly since it's so small it's all within my little fingers and i could reach everything the speaker on here is massively loud so if i hit the arm switch armed. you can hear armed. armed and if i hit my little mode switch 
Flight mode horizon. Flight mode angle. Flight mode acro. So the voice is really good. Now I put those voices on there myself. And when you watch my video on how to set this radio up, I show you how to put the voices on. The display is rather small, but to my eyes, I can see it quite well. You know, you're holding it this far from your face. So you only have to see it to pick your model or set something up. So I think Radio Master hit it out of the park with this radio. I love the latching switches up top and the momentary switch here. And the best thing is that they put the little pot switch, the little roller one. Oh, it's got some nice resistance to it. And it's right down here. It's awesome. And of course, if you're flying someplace strange, onto the side and you're facing this way you can spin your antenna all over the place so you get the best signal a micro SD card is included and it does have a lot of data on it so don't format it so with all that said is this now my favorite radio well let me tell you the following this is the radio master Zorro I love this radio the only negative for me is that there's very tiny batteries in it so if I'm out all day I usually have to bring extra batteries or add an extra power supply but it does have a nice big display and everything feels really good in your hands if you're used to game controllers this is the radio master tx12 it was their budget radio it is very budget but it works but it's not my favorite this is the radio master boxer i love the boxer you see me in so many reviews flying drones and i'm always using the boxer and i like to put my crossfire module on the back and fly it in crossfire or or i'll fly it in fr sky or something like that but i really like this one but it's a little big and bulky it's more for people with bigger hands but in the winter time with my gloves on and everything this is my favorite then over here we have the radio master tx 16s these are the flagship models of radio master i do use these i used to always use them with every drone i flew these are great for anything in the rc hobby helicopters rc planes uh, drones fpv drones tanks trucks cars boats everything these can do it all and they have big color screens and the color screens are touchscreen really really good radios however they take up a lot of space in my bag so that's where this little guy comes in i know they call it the pocket there's no way i'm getting this in the pocket in my pants probably a pocket in a jacket but i had it here they do give you a nice little bag that you probably saw when i was showing it earlier comes with it so you can shove it in the bag to protect it put this whole thing in your case it doesn't take up a lot of room look it's the size of like a little micro drone pretty much so uh yeah you can get an awful lot with you to the field with very little space and i like the fact that when you press these little latch switches up top it becomes green on the side so you know that your switch is engaged because you can't look at it a lot of times go is my switch up or down ah the lights on it's down okay there we go now the switch is up so links to this product are below and to all these little color things and uh, go check it out i don't think it's very expensive unfortunately i was not given the price at this time so i don't know how much it costs but i can't see it costing a super amount and i think this is probably going to be the most popular radio master radio this year so you might want to get your one. All right. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see how to input a model, a drone, you know, make a model in here with a drone and then bind it in ELRS and then set it up in Betaflight Configurator and then go fly, watch my other video. But for now, I say thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.